Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. In this video, I wanna talk about creating a poll on a Facebook page. So let's just get straight into it. Now, I am in the new Facebook, so if you're not in the new Facebook, all you gotta do is go to the menu like on the, of the old Facebook and you'll see an option that says switch to new Facebook or something like that. So go to the menu and click it and then you'll see a screen that looks like this. And so now, if you come to like create post, and you click this, these three dots here, like you used to see an option that said like create a poll or something like that. But, but for some reason it's not showing up. I don't know why that is. Maybe they'll change it in the near future. And, but if you see the create poll option here, then go ahead and do that. If you don't see it, then another way to go ahead and create a poll is to come over to publishing tools on the left hand side. And what you wanna go ahead and do is click this create post button right here. And now if you come over and you click the three dots, you'll see the option for a poll. So you can click poll now, and now you can create a poll for your Facebook page. So I don't know why you can do it here, but you can't do it from your page. And again, that might've changed and you might see that poll option, in which case, cool. Then you should be on a screen that looks like this and now we can go ahead and create our poll. So what do we wanna ask? And then you go ahead and you add the appropriate options. And you can add photos or GIFs to the options. So I'll do this one as it, as a photo, so I select this option. I'll go ahead and add this photo right here. And then for no, I'll go ahead and add a GIF. And I'll say no. And we'll select this option right here. So we got yes and no. And then we can scroll on down here and we can select how long we want our poll to be available for. So one day, one week, never, or custom. I'm just gonna go with one week. And then we come down here to the newsfeed option so we can go ahead and publish it now or schedule it or backdate it or save it as a draft. I'm just gonna go ahead and publish it now. So I'll hit share now. And now I'll go back to my page to check it out. So I'll come up here to Nathan's Shoe Store. And so I'll scroll on down and I see my poll right here and we'll notice that the images are different sizes so it looks a little funky. So that's one thing to be aware of. When you do this, make sure that you have the same size images so that way it's not like you know, cockeyed or something like that. And I can't engage with my poll since I set it up, but if I do view as visitor, then I can see what my poll actually looks like to people that are visiting. So this is the yes option and the no option that I created when I set up my poll. So if I click yes right here, we see how the poll adjusts to take in my answer. And now I'm gonna go ahead and exit view as, and I'm back on my page as the admin, and that's pretty much it. So that's how you go ahead and you post a poll to your Facebook page. If you have any questions or anything, please don't hesitate to ask them down below in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.